in the dying days of the Cretaceous period, when colossal predators like the Tyrannosaurus rex reigned supreme, creatures such as Triceratops and Hadrosaurs often bear the savage scars of T-Rex attacks. Yet, amid this world of relentless aggression, one creature's fossils remain curiously unmarked by such ferocious battles. It wasn't the tallest, fastest, or most fearsome predator, but with a body armoured like a tank and a tail capable of shattering bones, this creature defied the rules of survival, made even the mighty T-Rex think twice. This was Ankylosaurus, nature's ultimate fortress, a living testament to the art of defence in an age of unyielding predators. The story of this extraordinary creature began in the early 20th century, when paleontologists working in Montana's Hell Creek Formation uncovered a collection of unusual fossils. These weren't the typical bones they were accustomed to finding. Instead, they discovered an assemblage of bizarre armor plates, robust bones, and distinctive teeth that would eventually rewrite our understanding of dinosaur defense mechanisms. This discovery, which would later be identified as the holotype specimen of Ankylosaurus magniventris, presented such a unique combination of features that it demanded its own taxonomic family. The name itself tells part of the story, Ankylosaurus meaning fused lizard, a reference to its remarkably fortified skeleton, while magniventris translates to great belly, highlighting its distinctively broad midsection. The discovery of Ankylosaurus magniventris wasn't just a milestone for paleontology, it opened a window into the intricate design of one of nature's most formidable creatures. In 1906, the American Museum of Natural History's Barnum Brown, a renowned paleontologist, led an expedition through Montana's Hell Creek Formation. Among the layers of Cretaceous sediment, Brown unearthed an assortment of fossils that perplexed him at first glance. These were not the slender, elongated bones of theropods or the broad frills of ceratopsians. Instead, Brown had uncovered fragments of bony plates, uniquely shaped teeth, and vertebrae that hinted at a heavily armoured animal. Early interpretations of these fossils were cautious. Brown initially speculated that the bones might belong to a previously unknown type of armoured dinosaur. Over time, Further excavations in Canada and the western United States reveal more specimens, each shedding light on the creature's physical characteristics. The painstaking process of piecing together its skeletal framework was akin to assembling a prehistoric jigsaw puzzle, with every discovery adding a layer of complexity to its story. What made Ankylosaurus magniventris stand out was not only its robust anatomy, but also its ecological implications. Fossils of Ankylosaurus were found in association with remains of plants, indicating the lush environments it inhabited. Over the decades, advances in paleontological techniques, including CT scanning and isotope analysis, have allowed scientists to reconstruct its appearance and understand its lifestyle in remarkable detail. From the armoured plates that defined its body to the distinctive club at the end of its tail, Ankylosaurus stood as a creature that epitomised nature's ingenuity. What made this discovery particularly groundbreaking was that it didn't just represent a new species, it became the cornerstone of an entirely new group of dinosaurs, the Ankylosauria. These animals, belonging to the larger clade Ornithischia, were characterised by their extensive armour plating and herbivorous lifestyle. Within this group, Ankylosaurus belonged to a more specialised family. The Ankylosaurids, distinguished by their massive triangular skulls, stocky builds, and elaborate defensive features. But among all its relatives, Ankylosaurus held a special distinction. It was the largest of its kind ever discovered, with adults reaching lengths between 5.4 to 10 meters or 17 to 33 feet and standing about 1.7 meters at the hip. More impressively, these titans weighed between 5 and 8 tons, surpassing even the famously robust Triceratops in mass and rivaling the earlier aquatic predator Spinosaurus. One might wonder how a relatively low slung animal could pack such impressive weight into its frame. The answer lies in its extraordinary construction. Imagine a biological tank meticulously designed for strength and survival. 
the Ankylosaurus's skeleton was built unlike any other dinosaurs, with dense, compressed bones forming a sturdy foundation for what would become one of nature's most sophisticated armor systems. Recent studies of its bone structure have revealed something fascinating. The bones themselves were uniquely reinforced with internal struts and buttresses, similar to the architectural principles used in modern building construction. This internal reinforcement provided an additional layer of protection beyond just the external armor, making every part of the animal resistant to crushing forces. The Ankylosaurus's skull alone is a marvel of design and intricate functionality. Shaped like a broad triangle, it was designed to withstand immense pressure. Its jaw mechanics, though less powerful than those of a carnivore, were finely tuned for grinding tough plant material. The teeth, small but ridged, created an effective tool for processing vegetation and wear patterns suggest a highly specialized feeding strategy. What's more, the placement of its nostrils and the complexity of its nasal passages indicate not only a heightened sense of smell, but also the possibility of thermoregulatory adaptations. Speaking of armor, the Ankylosaurus's defensive system was far more sophisticated than initially understood. While we've known about its bony plates, or osteoderms for decades, recent microscopic analysis has revealed an intricate network of blood vessels running through these structures. This discovery suggests that the armor might have served multiple purposes, not just protection, but possibly also helping to regulate body temperature, similar to how some modern reptiles use their scales for thermoregulation. The number of these osteoderms remains a subject of debate among paleontologists, with estimates ranging from 30 to well over 100. But what's particularly intriguing is their unique construction. Unlike other armored dinosaurs that had solid, thick plates, the Ankylosaurus possessed something more sophisticated, osteoderms with hollow undersides. This seemingly counterintuitive design actually represented a remarkable feat of natural engineering. The hollow structure created a dome-like formation that distributed impact forces more effectively than solid plates would have, similar to how modern motorcycle helmets use their curved design to protect riders. This adaptation made the armor particularly effective against the crushing bite force of predators like T-Rex, whose hunting strategy relied heavily on delivering powerful, bone-crushing bites. Modern engineering analysis has provided even more insights into this remarkable defense system. Beneath these armored plates lay a network of collagen fibers that puts modern protective materials to shame. These fibers, significantly thicker than those found in modern armored animals like crocodiles and armadillos, created a natural composite material similar to modern fiber-reinforced plastics. Recent biomechanical studies have shown that this combination of hard plates and flexible fibers could absorb and dissipate energy from impacts in ways that purely rigid armor couldn't match. In fact, when subjected to simulated impact tests, Reconstructions of Ankylosaurus armor proved capable of withstanding forces that would have seriously injured or killed most other dinosaurs. But perhaps the most fascinating aspect of the Ankylosaurus's defensive arsenal was its legendary tail club. This wasn't just a simple bony growth. It was a precisely engineered weapon system that represented one of nature's most effective deterrents against predation. Recent CT scanning of tail club fossils has revealed an intricate internal structure that optimized the club for both strength and swing speed. The club itself was composed of two large osteoderms at its core, complemented by smaller ones at the tip and along the midline, all supported by a framework of highly modified vertebrae that was specifically adapted to handle the stresses of high-speed impacts. The measurements are staggering. Specimens show the club could reach 57 centimeters or 22.5 inches in width and weighed approximately 23 kilograms or 50 pounds. But these numbers only tell part of the story. The real marvel was in the biomechanics. Advanced computer modeling has shown that large individuals could generate impact forces exceeding 20,000 newtons and even more remarkably, could achieve swing impulses of up to 4,800 newtons per second. To put this in perspective, while a professional baseball player generates about 13 newtons per second in their swing, the Ankylosaurus's tail strike was 370 times more powerful. 
Recent studies using finite element analysis have even suggested that the impact force could have been focused on an area as small as a few square centimeters, multiplying its bone-crushing potential. The behavior and lifestyle of Ankylosaurus were as unique as its anatomy. While much of its life remains a mystery, fossil evidence offers glimpses into its daily routines and survival strategies. Juvenile Ankylosaurus specimens, for example, lack the fully developed armor and tail clubs seen in adults. This vulnerability likely necessitated group behavior during the early stages of life. Trackway fossils suggest juveniles may have formed protective herds, with larger individuals shielding the more vulnerable young in the center, a defensive strategy reminiscent of modern musk oxen. As they matured, Ankylosaurus individuals underwent significant lifestyle changes. Adults appear to have been predominantly solitary, a conclusion supported by the rarity of adult specimens found in groups. Their solitary behavior was likely a reflection of their formidable defenses, which allowed them to traverse their environments without fear of predation. Solitary adults might have roamed large territories, primarily in search of food and suitable habitat, avoiding direct competition with other herbivores. Some paleontologists have speculated that Ankylosaurus might have used its tail club for intraspecific communication or dominance disputes. This theory is supported by observations of similar behaviors in modern animals with physical weaponry, such as bighorn sheep or rhinoceroses. The display of their tail clubs, combined with body size and posturing, could have deterred rivals without escalating into physical conflict. However, the evidence remains inconclusive and further fossil discoveries may provide clarity on this aspect of their behavior. Ankylosaurus thrived in the rich and dynamic ecosystems of late Cretaceous North America, particularly in regions that would later become known as the Hell Creek Formation. This area was a mosaic of environments, ranging from subtropical forests to open floodplains, teeming with diverse flora and fauna. Fossilized plant remains suggest Ankylosaurus inhabited regions with abundant low-growing vegetation, which suited its low-slung, round-grazing body. The climate of the late Cretaceous was warmer and more humid than today, which supported lush forests dominated by conifers, cycads, and ferns. Ankylosaurus likely played a role in shaping this ecosystem, though not as extensively as herding dinosaurs like hadrosaurs. Instead, its selective feeding habits might have influenced plant growth patterns in localized areas. The association of Ankylosaurus fossils with specific types of vegetation has led researchers to hypothesize that they may have helped disperse seeds, inadvertently promoting plant diversity. Seasonal changes would have impacted the behavior of Ankylosaurus. Fossil evidence indicates that some regions experienced dry and wet seasons, influencing the availability of food resources. Ankylosaurus may have adapted by modifying its diet or undertaking small-scale migrations to follow vegetation growth. The robust construction of its body, coupled with its ability to consume tough plant material, would have allowed it to survive in less than ideal conditions. The coexistence of Ankylosaurus with large herbivores like Triceratops and Edmontosaurus, as well as apex predators like Tyrannosaurus rex, paints a vivid picture of its ecological niche. While Ankylosaurus was not the most numerous dinosaur in its ecosystem, its defensive adaptations ensured its survival alongside fierce competition. Its presence in these environments exemplifies a finely balanced food web, where specialized roles allow diverse species to coexist. The diet of Ankylosaurus was primarily herbivorous, with adaptations that made it highly effective at processing tough, fibrous vegetation. Its broad, low-slung muzzle and simple, ridged teeth were ideal for stripping and grinding low-growing plants such as ferns, cycads, and horsetails. Unlike some herbivorous dinosaurs that had elaborate dental batteries, Ankylosaurus relied on its powerful jaw muscles to break down plant material before swallowing. Recent studies of Ankylosaurus teeth have revealed wear patterns that suggest a surprising degree of dietary flexibility. While its primary diet consisted of vegetation, it may have occasionally consumed protein-rich fungi or small invertebrates inadvertently gathered while feeding. This opportunistic feeding behavior is not uncommon among modern herbivores, such as tortoises and iguanas, which occasionally supplement their diets with protein sources. 
The digestive system of Ankylosaurus likely included a large, complex gut capable of fermenting plant material. This would have been necessary to extract sufficient nutrients from its fibrous diet. Fossilized coprolites attributed to similar herbivora species suggest the presence of symbiotic gut bacteria, which would have played a crucial role in breaking down cellulose. This process would have produced energy-rich byproducts, allowing Ankylosaurus to maintain its massive body size. Interestingly, Ankylosaurus's broad midsection may have been a specialized design to house its extensive digestive system. The large gut volume would have provided ample space for fermentation and nutrient absorption, ensuring the animal could survive on a diet of relatively low-calorie plants. This adaptation, combined with its sturdy build and slow metabolism, likely made Ankylosaurus an efficient grazer, well suited to its environment. The sensory capabilities of Ankylosaurus were as finely tuned as its defensive adaptations. Its most remarkable sensory feature was its highly developed sense of smell, which would have been vital for locating food, avoiding predators, and possibly detecting mates. Fossil evidence reveals that the olfactory bulbs in its brain were unusually large for an herbivorous dinosaur, suggesting that its sense of smell was on par with or even superior to that of many modern reptiles and mammals. Recent studies of Ankylosaurus skull fossils using advanced imaging techniques have revealed intricate nasal passages. These passages likely played a dual role, enhancing its olfactory capabilities and aiding in thermoregulation. The convoluted structure of these nasal cavities, which created a larger surface area, may have allowed Ankylosaurus to cool or warm incoming air, helping it adapt to the varied climates of the late Cretaceous period. Vision and hearing also likely contributed to Ankylosaurus's survival. While its eyes were relatively small compared to its massive body, their placement on the sides of its skull would have provided a wide field of view, allowing it to detect predators approaching from almost any direction. This peripheral vision, combined with its heightened sense of smell, would have made it difficult for ambushed predators like Tyrannosaurus rex to catch it off guard. Though direct evidence for its auditory capabilities is sparse, the structure of its inner ear suggests that Ankylosaurus was capable of detecting low-frequency sounds, which could have been useful for sensing the movements of large predators or communicating with others of its kind. One particularly intriguing hypothesis is that Ankylosaurus may have used its sensory abilities in conjunction with its defensive adaptations. For instance, its acute sense of smell and hearing could have allowed it to detect a predator's approach early enough to position itself defensively, presenting its armored back and tail club to the threat. These advanced sensory capabilities underscore the Ankylosaurus as a highly specialized organism, perfectly equipped to navigate its dangerous environment. The reign of Ankylosaurus came to an end, along with that of other non-avian dinosaurs during the KT extinction event approximately 66 million years ago. However, its legacy lives on in our understanding of natural design and defense mechanisms. But did you know another dinosaur took defense to the offensive, leaving a mark on none other than a Tyrannosaurus rex? Don't miss this video right here.